They told me for years there was no money in podcasting. Well, they were all wrong. So Americans have this kind of, I don't know what it is about them, but they think everything they do matters to the rest of the world. Like America, yep. they think of American, the American news cycle as the global news cycle. So, and you know, in, I'm sorry, in Canada, from a Canadian's perspective, you guys got your own shit going on, your own politics. And all. It, was, it was reversed a few weeks ago with that whole yep. trucker rally. But I guess in, in your community and I guess Canadians in general, how in tune are you really with the American news cycle? Not in the slightest. Like I, I would, I always kept track. Well, mostly through like through you guys or through yeah. other like ha- half of my, half of my friends that I have in wrestling are all in the states. Like you know, you guys and Ant and and Nate and all these people. And yeah. it's just through interactions with them or just watching things on social media. Like I'm, I'm a very observant person. Like you, you can't tell. Like it, it, when it comes to anything, so I'm like, okay, I'm watching my friends who are in a relationship. I haven't been in one in a long time. I don't intend to be one in one for a long time. But if the time comes, I'm like, okay, I remember what to do, what not to do. So <laughs> let's 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 keep let's keep my mental notes up here. Right. And yeah, we we got our we don't keep track of it. And if anything, we have we we have our version of uh, what's the what's like the talk like talk show hosts that make fun of things and politics like Trevor Noah, late like night. you guys late have night, late night late, late night late night yeah. Or Stephen Colbert, like I, I love Stephen Colbert. Yeah, Colbert's and, uh, a late who, show. Who was the, the guy? Or the that, Tonight Show. I'm trying to think. Was Let, it John Stewart? John Stewart was the Daily Show. Yes, yeah. the, the guy that came out at SummerSlam on John Cena. <laughs> yes. Why? Yes. Why? But we have our own like political humor up here. It's called This Hour has 22 minutes, and Rick Mercer. So. Anytime I'm watching that, and it references like making fun of Biden or Trump or something like that. That's what we get. We don't keep track of it up here, but I live in a very conservative part of Ontario. Uh, right. Very, very redneck. I mean, I'm a, I'm one. I mean, I'm not ashamed to admit that I'm a redneck. I grew up in like surrounded by farms, so it's it's very that kind of mentality up here. So, and if and some of it can be uh, negative, if yeah, you know what I mean, based on who would they vote for. Right. Right. So, what do you, what do you think of Americans? You, you, I'm not asking you like general Canadian. This is you, Mr. Fretz, in particular, what you think of like America, our culture, our society, our people, and what the fuck we're doing in the world. It's like, what is your opinion on the United States? A loaded well, question. I, 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 okay. Uh, so first off, like most of the Americans that I've came across are, are, de- are like, are decent people. Yeah. They're good. I, if, I, if I, agree, I agree with that. All- <laughs> most of us are decent yeah, people. Ha- yeah, hardworking, honest, and and if I, and if I can offer one, it, it, it could be a criticism because uh, the please, last time please, I went, by all means. So I I've been to the states a bunch of times. Like I used to go, I went to Six Flags Darien Lake one year mm. uh, for a Christian music festival called Kingdom Bound. I saw Skillet. They're a band that, well, if you follow them, they recently made some pretty negative comments towards people who are deconstructing their faith. And I took very much offense to that. So no, no love to them, but you also saw like your other Christian weird bands, but I've been me and my friend drove from where I am now to San Diego once too. So my criticism is, is this was especially evident right after nine 11 that Hmm. you're patriotic, but Holy shit, tone it down just a little bit. Like the post 9-11 patriotism, like Spider-Man running in front of the flag. Okay, first movie, I clapped. I, I'm like, okay, that's that's cool. Second movie, uh, third movie, holy fuck, move on. I mean, most tragic day in American history, dude. I can tell you exactly what I did on that day, but... The patriotism's a bit much, but now with the trucker rally, uh, we're starting to get that up here. So <laughs> you know, we gonna, all got to tone it down. I'm not going to lie, Mr. Fritz. Your point is 100% valid where I need to tone it down, but 9-11 is a terrible example to use because that... My apologies. Because that is something that Americans need more of, that post-9-11, because that's when we were unified. 
as a people. Yes. Right? I admire that. So your, your sentiment is correct. The whole rah-rah America needs to be toned down, but also on the flip side, the doom and gloom America also needs to be toned down. Yes. So I I, I, I love it because I think that's a very accurate portrayal of Americans, dude. Just tone it the fuck down, man. Live and let live. <laughs>